Very happy to see you all um, back after Catalonia and to see uh, and uh, Silvia uh, joining us uh, from Spain uh, as well. So the, in this cafe, um, uh, Silvia will uh, tell us more about her drifts uh, through uh, Stockholm. Uh, she has a very strong background in sound uh, and um, uh, as well in, in walking. Uh, she is a um, professor of, uh, at the Faculty of Fine Arts in uh, Cuenca. And she uh, leads the group Fuzzy Gap uh, that rescues the electroacoustic music collections of the GME. She will, may be able to tell us more uh, about that, I'm sure, later. Her projects and research since the early 90s are focused on the field of uh, plastic arts and computer music. And she uh, was investigating Kassel, which was the town of uh, Lucius Burkhardt and the Spaziergang Wissenschap of Primatology. You may have met him, uh, 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 Sylvia, uh, where she begins her synesthetic and interactive projects. And um, she continued in Karlsruhe and as well doing investigation at uh, ZKM in, uh, over there um, under the direction of the chef de Shaw. She, uh, after she investigated at the Riverbed Company for the Robert Wilson's project in New York City. And decades later, uh, she investigates at the ID that in Plymouth, um, and now actually in Stockholm, which is already a drift around the world uh, to start with. She has exhibited, given conferences, and participated in concerts around the world in Spain, Germany, Mexico, Portugal, Poland, Slovenia, Romania, and as well recently in Costa Rica. Um, tonight uh, we will hear more about weaving walks and uh, drifting in Stockholm. Um, I'm uh, very curious to hear more, Sylvia, about your work. Um, welcome. You thank seem you. to be muted. Yes, yeah, there you are. Uh, welcome, Sylvia. Thank thing. you. Thank you very much, Abby. Thanks for you and all the people of uh, World Listening Cafe. Uh, you can hear me. It's okay, the volume, my voice, yeah. perfect. Um, I mean, the first one, I, I would like to share a document, moment. I want to, to explain about this project, the about 40 arc, 40 days. Um, I would like to, to say that uh, this uh, project, was born during the research stay at the EMS in Stockholm. Uh, EMS means Electron Music Studio. Uh, um, during the city, between subways, trams, canals, and walks, takes up a world of sound that invites you to listen, narrate, and experiment. Passing, uh, could say, walking by the paper shop, uh, a notebook in the style of my kintsugis, uh, we'll see something later about it, if you want, um, caught my attention. Its faces are also black. It looks like the black box of a trip. It's enough to read its characteristic. 40 pages. The notebook is Belgian, <laughs> like you, but we are in Estoholm and I'm looking in the translator. 40 pages means 40 arc. It's then that I realized that these are exactly the days that I will be there. So without hesitation, I bought a notebook. The parts of my days will be safe and stitched onto each of the pages. One page, one day, a walk, a sound journey, a palimpsest set of sound and narration that will be built at the same time between threads, writing, recorded sounds and the interactive ink that will be used as an interface to manage all of this in studio number two of 
in this EMS studio. That was a multi-channel studio uh, with 16 speakers in 360 degrees, uh, so an ambisonic uh, place. I printed the map of the city and I established the criteria of the materials, narration and interaction. 40 art, 40 days was born. Uh, I would like to show you a video. If you can, Gert, if you can play the video, it's fine. Thanks.
I think it's enough to understand the project when this with this image. Uh, and later, perhaps when we have question, we can come back to the video. Perhaps I don't know. And this, if all the people want to see uh, at home, uh, I come back to the PDF because I, I want to explain uh, this part of the project that is the black notebook. Uh, I mean the score. Um, um, you see this this notebook. Is, you see a code. Um, for example, this GPS of uh, airport and my apartment. And each day, you can see here each day. Um, I saw this this uh, trajet, this work. Uh, for example, here, and you can see. When, when you see this, this continuous uh, walk is uh, when, when I walk and here is bus or uh, urban, ferry, no, thank you, it's the other one. Uh, that is the score that I use, okay. Um, later we have the instrument, the white notebook. On the other hand, the instrument will, like a luthier, <laughs> uh, will synthesize this path and allow to transit between them, using it as a sound interface to manage the different mini compositions related to those paths that, like John Bartelaf and the Situationist, defended. They now build the city for me, a psychogeographic map of the experience of those 40 days using interactive ink that will allow you to play like a musician the different micro composition via MIDI. That is really the instrument the, the touch board to, to use it. Actual recordings, modular sound synthesis work at the book lab, this synthesizer in by EMS, and digital composition shape free of the seven roads. Uh, you can see Cicla Canal, Gamla Stam by Ricardo Atienza, Tivana, uh, Tivana is uh, also Uban, uh, Jeff Vanga, EMS, the place of the studio from Raúl Villamil, composed uh, tram by Concepción Huerta, bus track by Paul Piñón, and ferry and airplane by I composed this one. Um, All together became part of the project thanks to the encounter with the place, with the city, with the project itself. I invite to these people, to this composer, to send me an audio based on the project, knowing that their composition will no longer have a beginning and an end. They will not be heard in the order or alone. Um, I collaborate since 19 in a different project, always with collaborative projects. We can explain later about it um, also. Uh, that is the studio number two um, with Reaper. It's a free software with Ambisonic um, to move this idea of polyphony. Um, all the composition will be part of a cadaver exquisite handled by the instrument, this white notebook, to interpret the journey of each day that you have in the black notebook. Likewise, all the composition will be cut to a duration of 4 minutes 32 seconds. <laughs> and not to John Cage, uh, and his 44 minutes 33 seconds, 
but with a derivation uh, to the 32 Goldberg variation by Johann Sebastian Bach. The loop will take care, allowing you to work through this multi-channel composition without finally being able to know what the duration is beyond that, what the performer needs to work through the 40 days sound for this purpose. Uh, also it will be perfect, 40 minutes, <laughs> one minute per day but I leave it that open. It's what implies interaction and interpretation. You cannot put doors to the air, to the water, to the wine, also to life. Um, just uh, as a curiosity, uh, when, when I explain about this the project, I, I use translator to, to know how do you say so in English um, or Spanish coser? And in Sweden say es why, like my name. I always my signature is always es why. Um, it was a <laughs> I don't believe in coincidence. And when I look up it, it was relevant for me. Um, also. Uh, I have a lot of different uh, projects that vinculate uh, that link to to this uh, project, no? Like Paseante en la Memoria, Walker in the Memory, or Kintsugi's this notebook and so on. But I'm not sure if you want to uh, ask me about this project, or I show you another project around this idea. What do you want to do? Uh, uh, oh, um, 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 thanks also for your passing. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you can understand my English. Uh, I don't know what what do you prefer to ask mm -hmm. me about this project or to show other projects that are linked to, to this project. Whatever you want. Maybe we can talk a bit about this project, Sylvia, and uh -huh. then if uh, we still um, have some time left, we can go to the other project. Because this is already such a rich uh, approach, and, and I love the idea of uh, of having a book that has no ending or beginning, and uh, which will be um, um, a challenge for any writer uh, to understand and to work with. But it's so beautiful uh, to transform literally a book into a walk, and to an instrument. A walk mm -hmm. has no end, no beginning. It's a being so much in the moment. And uh, um, as well, the idea of um, that uh, you can play a book. Uh, it, it's amazingly beautiful. Uh, anyway, I, I'll, if there are any questions, feedback, remarks um, uh, to Sylvia, please um, um, just raise your hand or speak up. Uh, you can also write in the chat. The chat is um, on the l uh, right side on the top. If you prefer to write something in the chat, you can do that there. But I'm uh, happy to listen to Viv to start with. Um, so yes, I just wanted to say thank you very much. It's a wonderful project and very close to my heart, the idea of walking and sound. And I've played with Paul Pinion, so I know <laughs> I know some of these people as well. Um, one thing I'm not sure if I actually missed or um, misunderstood, but I didn't quite get the relation of the GPS code. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if that was a trigger for the walk or if that was any it was related to the sound or if you were just saying that you wrote the gps code so sorry if that was my misunderstanding um well no i used gps uh, at the beginning my idea in Estoholm is uh, use gps with sound and text but at the end uh, just i used gps to draw the walk draw the line of each day. Also, I use my watch with the GPS and draw me the line of in the city. And then I show this line. Um, if you can see, for example, here, no? Or here. Uh, if you see here, this, I learn my score at the end, no? Like, 
as a, you can play piano, whatever you want, and so on. That means ferry. That means walk. That is that's a uh, urban. That cycle canal. At the end, when you take my score, you see that all the tracks that I show. That is the idea. The the GPS. The, the the line that later I show. Do you understand me? Um, um, I say that, for example, here, just I I write the the, the this GPS uh, airport and apartment just the first and the last day, but the other days I don't use the number. Just I use the line of the GPS. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, please, Anne. Uh, Anne, you can go. I, that was that's, this is so interesting. I um, so I had been introduced to these books in a very different context. Um, my son, when he was at university, um, had was granted um, permission to um, record lectures by using these books that he could take notes because in I don't know in the United States you need permission to record lectures. But he was told that he could. He found these books where you take the notes and then you put the. Um, it records the sound, and you take the pen and you then hear that moment in the lecture if you want to go back to it. So you have the reinforcement of your notes and the professor what the professor said. And I assume it's the same technology that you're using. And I never. I just love that it had you developed it into this uh, creative medium of being um, this unity of writing and sound that you record your day, but you also are it's somehow recording all the sounds that are around you as you move, as you're walking through space. So I thought it was extraordinary and um, you know, just gives me a lot of ideas of a uh, use of a new medium. Um, but the question I have is what I didn't um, quite completely understand is does this continue to exist in an interactive form? Does that mean that people can come to this book and listen um, and sort of go through the city and go through or go through the individual days any way that they want? Or is it now in a fixed composition with the with the score that you created? The idea of this sound, I, I take my microphone all the day and mm -hmm. also my GPS. Uh, but when I research about Estocolm and this sound in the city of Estocolm, I I find um, I encounter different composers that that are also there in in Estocolm, and I thought, why I have to have just my sound, and I. I speak with the different people that uh, come together in this project and, and also work this sound. And for me, it's really important the collaborative uh, project. The, the idea that one project is not something that you can put in a box. Uh, one project is something that grows with the people, grows with the city, grows with the life. And that was the question that at the end, I know Raul Villamil was a musician, a composer that was in, by EMS in this moment, loved the project. We spoke about the project for a long time and he composed uh, a sound from EMS, from this point, this, this uh, track. Um, for example, uh, Jeff Panga, he was by Bukla, and I we was uh, speaking about her, his project, my project, and at the end when his composer something with Bukla said, okay, that's that's like a tram. Ah, do you want this one? We can put it in a tram. And so I think the uh, okay, I have all my sounds. I put in three different tracks. But I love the idea that different composers come together and come into the project. Um, 
that the project at the end is uh, something that is life, it's no death, it's not my project, in my box, something closed. Do you understand me? The idea is, uh, I, I love the things, I love when something is uh, life. <laughs> um, for example, they give me different connection. Um, uh, Concepcion Huerta give me a sound and when we heard it, the track of Concepcion Huerta together, we saw that this project, it was too... And all the time this, this, this sound, uh, it's no, it, it doesn't go together with the other one. And she understood the idea and tell me, I send you another one. We work about the concept of Trump in Estocolm. And each one know, okay, you, you are the Trump. And the people have to think about, I compose in this line, but I compose something to the concept of Trump for 40 art, 40 days. And I, 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 I love really the, these things that the, the project grow together. I, I, I'm working in uh, interactive art. Uh, I began with this idea in the 90s and I have a CD-ROM, interactive CD-ROM with uh, uh, Bach, with the fugue of Johann Sebastian Bach and uh, Le Moine, a, a, a picture. And the idea is always that the project at the end is not closed, that always the things can change. Um, well, I don't know if the answer is okay for you, you understand me. No, that was that explained a lot. I didn't. Um, I was misunderstanding some things, and now I understand a lot more clearly. And it's it's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for you. Thank you. Thanks. I also think uh, it, it, it's really beautiful how you go beyond uh, this uh, linearity where music can also books stand for, and you um, the, you work with layers on layers uh, to make it um, multidimensional and also multidirectional. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the, not only not only in space and time, but also in bringing in the experiences of various people uh, together um, in a resonance um, that uh, is um, created uh, on the moment and by the people that are part of it. Uh, so yeah. it's, uh, it's a very, um, it's very like a walking, which is also happening on the moment itself. And it's not predictable at all. Mm -hmm. And it, so you had a question as well. Uh, you have put it in the chat. Maybe uh, can you read it? I think it? Oscar, Oscar is with the hand. Uh, yes. Oscar Van of course, yes. Uh, there was also a question in the chat, um, um, uh, Sylvia. Um, maybe you can uh, read it. Um, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, Oscar and read later or at the same time? I try. I try. Okay. Well, we can go first to the question of Pedro and then um, Oscar, please, then we come to you uh, if, if it is okay, okay for you. Pedro, okay. Uh, has written, Pedro has written something in the chat. Maybe we can uh, have a look okay. to that. Well, how do you approach the field recording currently working? Ah, okay. Um, I think uh, the idea for me, for me, the idea to record the city is um, like John Cage said that you you have to hear uh, all the things that is uh, it the life also. When I work, I sometimes I take my microphone in my foot. Sometimes uh, the birds. Sometimes I place and I hear the water. But at the end, I need different materials to to have the experience, which is for me the sound experience of the city. Um, 
I, I, I change, uh, later I remix this sound. As of, for example, if you heard the track of Ricardo Atienza, it's a sound of Gamla Stan with a lot of different students. And he takes, he record the, the sound directly of the city. I take the, the, a little bit ingredients of the, my experience and later go to the studio, put the different sounds uh, together like a salad. <laughs> I have a tomato a salad and so on. And I have uh, birds, I have water, I have wind, um, put all together. And later I need to explain with the sound in the studio how these all materials give me my sound experience and sometimes I need a filter, sometimes I need to go to Bukla and have the these, these things that you cannot explain that uh, for example when the people in the concert at the end of the concert they play also with the white notebook and there was different people that play my project um, and the most people say for me, this sound uh, give me peace, peace, path, peace. Um, yeah, um, I'm really happy because I have peace in Estocolm because I was in a in in a place with a lot of work, uh, water, not too much people, not too much cars. Uh, the people walk around the canals. Um, I have, for me, that is the sound of Estocolm, the sound of the peace, the sound of the water, the sound of the slow time. And I was really happy when the people heard the finish of the premiere, the fi finish uh, at the end of the, the concert. Um, they told me that they was peace. <laughs> it was like, uh, and it was really incredible because I have just three tracks. The other four was uh, tracks for other people, but the mix of all together uh, gives uh, this uh, sensation of calm. <laughs> I don't understand if you understand, but uh, and. Uh, Pedro, I don't know if I answered you. Can see by the second. Pedro I, seems to be happy. Pedro has some problems with sound, so he uh, is uh, silently happy. <laughs> so, um, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, thank you, um, uh, Oscar. You wanted to uh, yeah. ask something? Hello. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Sylvia, for for this presentation. It's amazing. I just have a question. I don't know if I understand what the project is more. What I understand understand is that every day you make a path, and mm -hmm. then the the white notebook is like a visual map of all your all, all your days, no? Like the forty days, and every and you can touch it. You touch the the white notebook, and it has a specific sound, mm -hmm. no? So. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, you can perform it, perform it, like like your the first day, second day, you can perform it wherever you want. No, that's that's the interaction of the project. Yeah. Is, is that sure. so? Uh, my question: yeah. is, You you have forty days, you have forty tracks different, like forty different lines that you can play with. No, no, you have forty days. Yeah. Uh, yeah that you can see in the black notebook. You have mm -hmm. 40 uh, mini composition. I know, yeah. Chord. You, for example, uh, I, I try to share again PDF, okay? It's for me easy. For example, that is one day, that is another day. For these two days, different yeah. days. Yeah. Um, that means that you can play this track, one of yeah. them, that is the tram, um, uh, tram track, 
Chiclacana, this one, two tracks. That is the Uban, wow. three tracks. That is um, Gamlastan, that is another one, and EMS. You have in this score, in this day, you can play five tracks. I understand that. Uh, uh, how many tracks do you have? But, but, but uh, the instrument yeah. is a synthesis of the tracks that normally I did. This Finnish map is at the end, I say, okay, for example, I have days that I go to Kusfag or I go another place that you cannot see here and you cannot play it. Here, what you can use is the tracks, it's a psycho, psycho geographic map of the yeah. most important tracks, the most important movement for me. And the most important movement are my apartment, this one, from, that is, I have to go always to this station, and that is a tram from Concepcion Huerta. That is a Uban Tivana, that is from Jen Banger. The other one, sometimes I take here and go with a bus, is this movement, that is yeah. bus. This place is EMS from Ricardo Tiencia, and that is the old, old city uh, of Stockholm, um, and that is the track of Ricardo Atienza. Okay. The other tracks are this one, these lines, this cobble, and that is ferry. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. that, and this one is ferry, and so on. Um, I, when when I was there two weeks, something like this, I look my notebook, my black notebook, and yeah. I see which was the track that normally, usually I did, and that was the the decision to say, okay, that is really my movement in the city. Of course, when you see the notebook, you see in this place movement, one day, another day, see something like here, one day, but that was not important. When you right. look my movement, always these uh, tracks, <laughs> uh, can you see a lot? And that was the decision to say, okay, uh, I have seven tracks. I put seven tracks because I use this one to reset, uh, this one to to go out, a more volume, upper, lower, and so on. And, so, and my a touch board have just 12 um, plays, okay? okay. Um, okay. And another thing I have to say that I, I have to use um, Reaper. I have to use Reaper because it ha it's have a lot, um, uh, how do you say? Uh, the plugins to Ambisonic to the mm -hmm. 16 speakers. Um, Reaper really is a good and a free software, uh, but it's not the best to uh, interaction. Um, it was difficult to use Reaper with interaction. I have to to use my touch board like a like the keyboard. And it's limit. Um, I have a, an invitation to show this project, and um, perhaps I change the software and I use pure data because uh, the same track, the same idea, the same notebook, but the software perhaps I change it because if you see in my in my video. Um, uh, I use also my mobile phone because I cannot uh, mute some tracks. I cannot use good the volume. Uh, also, that's the problem of Reaper is really limit project to in software to make a interactive project. Do you understand me? Perfect. 
Thank you so much. So there is an abstraction in your decision at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's very nice. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sylvia, I see another question in the in the chat uh, from Clara. Um, maybe you can have a look. Moment. Clara, Clara, moment. Thanks, Sylvia. But Sati, how do you find your collaborators? Oh, okay. Um, how uh, how do you find your collaborators? The first one was Ricardo Atienza. I'm, I was just 40 days and I, I was uh, researching about people, about sound passage and sound projects in the city in Estocolm. And then I find a project about Ricardo Atienza. Uh, Ricardo Atienza is also a professor in the Konspach in Estocolm, but he don't use, doesn't use um, 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 Instagram or Facebook, anything. I couldn't find him, but I see something in the radio, uh, 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 Spanish radio, Radio Nacional, right? and he spoke about uh, University of Madrid. Then I know people in Madrid. I come from Madrid, and then I write people. Hello, Adolfo. Do you know Ricardo Atienza? Oh, sure. Um, he contacted me, and at the end, I didn't know that he, that he he lives uh, really in Estocolm. And we meet us, we know us, we speak about the project, and he gave me different pro uh, projects about sound and Estocolm. And he did me. You can use whatever you want. You can cut, for example, the bells. Uh, I don't want to use, for example, voice, because at the end you you try to translate always when you sound uh, when you hear uh, a person. No, you try to understand what they are saying. Uh, and that was the beginning. And at, uh, one day later, I know Ricardo Villamil. I think it's a good idea of EMS uh, in, in laboratory that they put in, a, in the wall uh, all the projects that in this moment the people are uh, making. And Ricardo Antienza, uh, sorry, Raul Villamil read about my project and called me. I want to know more about your project. I like uh, about your project, and that was the beginning to know the people. Later, Jeff Anger, same one with me in the EMS. So that was the thing. I don't know. Is no uh, garden <laughs> for affinities? No, I didn't know before uh, Stockholm. I didn't know before. Uh, uh, how do you say uh, Reaper? I didn't know uh, before about these people, uh, and I love this thing that um, I, I can say. For example, last day I I I, I saw my artist book, uh, Dialogues Inesperados, Unexpected uh, Dialogues, and I have to say this book and my project uh, give me to know people. For example, Jared, um, for example, all of you, is thanks to this project. And I, I, I love the things. I think it's the best of the art when make uh, collaboration, when make a bridge, can you say in English, when you make bridge to the ideas? Yeah. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, Bob, you have a question? Yes, um, it's concerning the unity of writing and sound. And uh, my way into sound art in the 60s was through the Vedic scriptures. Now, I know you referred to the elect, I think if I heard you correctly, the electron studio. And on an electron level, sound atoms comprise form. So through a mantra in a tantric trance, you can re recreate form through sound. And so it's a relationship between form and sound. Now, I know you have a relationship between writing and sound. Have you ever considered about not just a literary connection, but a visual collection uh, meaningfully? I, in your writing, 
you push the, the, the symbol that originates from the writing, the idea, and if you can, um, in, in a visual point of view, uh, from a fine art point of view, something that uh, has three-dimensional form rather than a literary idea. Have you considered about that link with sound at all? And if you have, I'd like to hear about it. Yeah, yeah. really it's the first time that I mix uh, the Dialogues in Esperados and this project, and I mix text and sound. Normally, I, I would like to share again, moment. Uh, um, for example, here I have the, I have a lot of difference. Uh, my doctoral thesis uh, is the synesthesy between sound and visual things. Um, for example, my kintsugis that are not book with uh, ink and so on, uh, I use like a score uh, that was in the Neo Mudejar, and I use an app, and with this app, um, can hurt the image. I love the, uh, I say always that I, I am in the fat, fatty place because uh, I am not digital, but not analog. I am not musician. I am not art, uh, visual art. I'm not, I, I'm in the middle. I, the German people say a concept. I love this concept. Grat van de Gun. That means you are in a line between all of the things. Uh, it's not, uh, no, I'm not a uh, musician, I'm not art, uh, visual art, I'm not uh, digital, I'm not, <laughs> I'm a mix of different things. Um, for example, it, that's a project that a sound notebook that you can play with an iPad and this app, you can play with my Kintsugis, with my uh, project. Um, that's at the end, that's the score for me. As a for example, about the, uh, I say that I always uh, work in, of the idea of, to collaborate with different people. Um, we, we have um, a course, an orchestra of, uh, um, computer performance, uh, traditional instrument, all together. Um, for example, it was a, we have a lot of different concepts. And this one, if you see this image, this image is a, a score. Um, it's a score for the people that use the computer like instrument and also for the traditional people. Here you can see different instruments, computer, um, flute, or different people that have worked, uh, a performer that use the body like instrument, and we mix it all together. That is for us the, the idea. For example, in this project, we use this mask because we don't want to, to say that the to take the spectators into the concert. We give always something to the people, to the public, and they can play also with a bottle of water or something like this. They can go together and play together. Uh, I don't find the difference between um, one, one type of art or the other one. I think text, sound, and image go together. I don't know where is the limit of uh, one of them. <laughs> I think I, I don't explain too much. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Sorry. Could you Thank understand? You. Yeah, I got a, an idea. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Yes. Uh, Sylvia, there is a um, very small question in the uh, chat uh, by Simon. Uh, yeah, uh, I write in the Grat van der Um They use, because I was um, working in synesthesy, and they tell me that this means when you are in a mountain and you are in this Grat van der Rund, 
it means that you are not in this uh, side and also you are not in the other side uh, you are in both um, for me that is the idea of the FATSI or group of investigation research group is FATSI gap um, FATSI gap means um, moment you can see here FATSI gap and um, FATSI means uh, come from the idea of uh, uh, I don't know if you know this uh, theory. It, there is no black or white, there is gray. The, the things are in in between, no? One thing and another thing. I think that people try to put the things in a box, in a closed box. That is visual art. That is sound. That is uh, text. No, and I don't understand why have to put in close box this idea and why you cannot use together like um, the same material I don't <laughs> I use all together. Um, here, for example, are different things that you can see also what are we doing. The people are really different. There is companies. This is, for example, Oscar is uh, come from this uh, research group and he's architect, but work with uh, music and uh, visual visual score. Uh, there is companies or it's artists. There is people that, uh, for example, Vicente Hart is um, a philosopher. Well, there is it's a mixed uh, research group, <laughs> a little bit strange. <laughs> uh, Bob, would you like to speak up and say what you have written down? Oh, OK. I, I think my, I'm interested in quantum art, and that seems to link directly with your um, not – it's the idea that something can be in two places, and a particle can be in two places at once. And it, it seems that your – um, approach is, is is not dissimilar from that. It is, you, 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 you would embrace everything. You wouldn't uh, uh, go with labels. Also, I, I'm not sure about the quantum art. I'm not. Um, I didn't well, use. It's my it. own idea. I just made it up. <laughs> I love, for example, do you know the the idea of David Bond about uh, how do you say? The, the, um, I know the, the name in Spanish is Orden Implicado. Uh, Oscar, you can you, you know the the translation of the David Bond the origins of Orden Implicado? Uh, it's like a but in, yeah, but what what did you want to say with that? Yeah, because uh, it's not the subtle quantum art. But I, I know that is. Uh, for Robert Parks, when you speak about it, I love. The, do you know the idea of the big bomb? I don't oh, understand. The, I can't understand what you're saying. Yeah. The idea of what? Do you know it? The implicate order, Robert. The implicate what? Implicate order. Uh, you can read in the chat, I think. Uh, and the, but, you know, the work of David Bohm, who has written, uh, he has written an, an, a work uh, that is called uh, The Implicate Order, um, if you have ever heard about him. Oh, okay. David what? David Bohm. What's his last name again? Uh, B-O-H-M, Bohm. Oh, okay. I'll have a look. Thank you. Yes. Good. Oh, Sylvia, you, you can say in Spanish and you can translate if you want. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and the forest uh, wrote the name of the book. Is always an implicate over it. Yeah, I think I, I used a lot of this idea of FATSI logic from Lofty Zadeth and also implicate order from David Bohm. But not too much about quantum. Because uh, David Bohm, as I love the things, do you know the idea that 
baby born use um did you did you take a paper and make ah i have no video oh. um, you can switch on your video sylvia i think your connection is uh, is fine again. yes that's okay, okay. <laughs> yes, hello it. hello i come back yes <laughs> this idea that you if you have a a text a, a, a paper um to make a difference um, and cut this paper at the end you have style of paper in the table but have no relationship and they be born always say okay there is a relationship there is a relationship between these things but we don't see it mm -hmm. um, it's different it's difficult to explain with my English <laughs> without a page but this idea that, that, that we need to put in the different or for example if you have an aquarium with a different um, it's, it's difficult for me to explain it um, david bond this idea but i love it and i think i use it um how do you say the the things that the, you can see something but and you think that this thing is different to the other one and um, david bond say no no it's not different the you see that's different because you are in a place but you need to put here and see that this movement is the same movement that we need to see the relationship between the things and sometimes when the people say that something is in one place different to the other one and the other one think that there is three different things and David Bond say is the same thing but we are we have not the distance to show that these different things are the same one do you that's, exactly, that's exactly what quantum theory is saying. So yeah, oh, you're, oh, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing. Does I love it, but I would. <laughs> okay, okay. You are saying that because for you, visual art, uh, writing, music, music composition is all the same for you. It's not about, yeah, it's, it's not about you are an artist, you are whatever. It's like all is the same. It's just you only need to understand that you are the same person and you are doing all the time the same in different mediums, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's what you are trying to say. I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know if it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, exactly. The things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's still space left for one or two questions if you have. Um, if not, uh, then we can uh, slowly um, continue our evening after such a rich and uh, um, and being more than more than one place and more than one time at the same time. It, uh, <laughs> it brought us so many perspectives and so many ideas that all are connected and come together. Uh, I remember mm -hmm. the, that uh, the, the theory about time is, or the, let's say the most recent theory about time is that uh, linearity is only a perspective that actually um, the everything in past, present and um, future is happening simultaneously, like uh, the pages of an the pages of a book not uh, uh, like consecutively ordered but all spread out um, um, on the floor and actually uh, only giving the idea that they are um, um, consecutively but uh, uh, even separate that they are happening now and together and, and that togetherness is, um, is something uh, that is defining us as uh, human beings and as beings connected with a more than human world. Um, we are not separated, um, we are one uh, in everything we do. And that's so beautiful about what you have uh, shared with us, Sylvia, um, and it's something that we can take us uh, take with us. Uh, um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sylvia, and thank you all thank you. for being here and sharing uh, these uh, ideas. And, uh, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, uh, wherever you are in the world. We are connected, we stay connected, and we hope to see you again sure. in two weeks. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.
It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks for. Bye. Ciao.